channel and welcome back to another day of Christmas. I got my Christmas sweatshirt on. But you know what's really crazy? It is as of right now, as I'm filming this, it is December 11th and my Christmas tree is not up. I've actually never put up Christmas decor so late. I'm usually the Christmas decor up before Thanksgiving type girl. But I hate having to put up Christmas decor on my own and my mom just got here to visit. So we're gonna do it together and I'm gonna take you on what to do it with us. I'm excited to finally get it up. I love this time of year. So let's go ahead and head downstairs so we can get this party started. <laughs> Look at Hershey. Hey mama, what you doing? <laughs> Come on girl, we're gonna put up the Christmas tree. So our Christmas tree is actually up. We put it up two days ago. We obviously haven't decorated it yet. We did this cute little thing where we put it like on top of a basket so it's like nice and elevated. A vibe, right? Really cute. Here's mom. Hi. <laughs> so like every Sunday, mom cooks, she throws down, <laughs> and so she's seasoning up the chicken right now. Are you making rice and peas too? Yeah. <gasps> My favorite. I wanna show you guys something really cool about our tree though. Alexa, turn the Christmas tree on. Okay. Huh? I just used one of the Amazon plugins, so it's like a little, like super cheap little plug. And anything you plug into it, you can use Alexa to kind of control it and stuff. So I have that for the Christmas tree, so we don't have to like scrunch behind the back and like plug it in and out every single time you want to turn it on and off. Major key. I don't know if y'all can tell in the camera, but we've also done like yellow lights and white lights. In future, I think what I'm gonna do is get, probably next year, I think I'm gonna get a new tree that's like already pre-lit. Getting lights can be such a hassle. It's so annoying and you never know exactly which color you're getting. Well, you do, but like you just really have to pay attention to it. I didn't. So I ended up with two strings of yellow and then two strings of white lights. So both Christmases last year and the year before, we have just done a mix. And so we're gonna do that again this year. But yeah, that is where we're at right now. Let me show y'all some of the decor we got. So this is the decor that we did last year. Huge white and gold person. I love having some good like neutral decor like white and gold because then you can add other colors whenever you want to. So these are some really good staple ornaments that we have. Ornaments, decor, whatever, bunch of stuff. But this year I decided because I did the white and gold the same exact uh, stuff two years in a row. This year I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit different so we did go shopping. This is some more of the stuff from last year. Gold and whites again. This is my garland from last year. It's such a pretty garland. I love that it has like the pine cones in there and everything. This year, we actually went to Michael's. I didn't know that Michael's has all this like Christmas decor stuff. They actually had a lot. And the best part is all of these were on sale. So we literally picked up a bunch of stuff. As soon as I saw this color, I was like, it's lit. We're adding some pop of color to the tree this year. So I think we're gonna do like, this is the pop of color. Still with a little bit of white and gold. We also found these ornaments from Home Goods, which were really, really pretty and also on sale. So we did like this like champagne color. Then we also got some, some more like pinks and corals. So I'm really excited to see how the tree comes out because I have only ever done like the boring white and gold. Look at this Christmas tree, this wooden Christmas tree. I found this at Home Goods as well. Is this not the cutest ever? Alexa, play Christmas music. adding the color ornaments that we bought this year. Look at my cross. All of these are all from at home, okay? At home is the plug. We like a good full tree. Like, I want it to be packed with stuff and like really just.
you know, we just flank these around the time. Yeah, let's try flanking more. <laughs> I think we're going to it's cute okay it's like an Very explosion nice. of gold yeah. at the top i think i like her she's shining like a queen like the women in this house period adding some color now this is such an eclectic It's giving everything we're coming for, for 2023. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's like an explosion of just creativity. The topper is leaning now. <laughs> Front way? Yeah, but let's just leave it until no we're done with the tree. Tell, only we can tell it. And the camera, the camera can tell. <laughs> it's like an explosion explosion of happiness in a tree like i love the color so this is my favorite ornament of all time my mom got this for hershey for her first christmas back in 2018 look at her little face oh she's so cute <gasps> wow our tree is a royal goddess so i lied Hershey's ornament is my second favorite ornament. These are my favorite. Also gifted from my mom. These are so special to me. George, Alyssa, Hershey, and then Cujo. Cujo is George's dog in Cayman. So it's our little family of four. And oh my gosh, my heart every time, even though we will be spending Christmas apart this year. Because of long distance and everything, it's hard, but these like little things like these make it feel like he's still here, you know, with us. And it's just, wow, I made it sound like he's dead. <laughs> Thank the Lord he's not, but you y'all know what I mean. <laughs> y'all know what I mean. These are just, I, mm, oh my God, my heart. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Literally so cute! I feel like this tree is giving so much energy. I do think the only thing that I may change, I may look for like another skirt, a secondary skirt that I can put underneath it so it kind of flows more into the floor. Let me know in the comments what you think. My mom loves the way it drapes right now, but I personally feel like I would love some extra drape. So whose team are you on? No drape as it is now or team drape. But I'm so, so happy with the way this tree came out. We literally finangled the hell out of this topper and it's just giving like, it gives the Christmas tree a crown. Hello, excuse me. We have my favorite cross ornaments and just all these different details of just different items, flowers, the different textures. We've got glitter, we've got matte, we've got clear. We have these like Dr. Seuss looking things and I just think everything came together so beautifully and I just, I love the amount of energy this tree is giving. It's not like, oh, aesthetic, you know? It's just giving lots of happy, joyful, creative girl energy and it's exactly what I'm here for. I literally don't care what anybody thinks about my tree. I love it. Last step is to clean everything up. My decor was like packed in like bags and different, like three different things. I went to Target, made sure to get a nice big container so that we can just have literally all the Christmas stuff in one place and chuck it in the garage for storage. Good. The house is clean. The Christmas decor is up. Ah, 
what a good day. We had a great mom and daughter momento, putting it up. It's so much fun putting the tree up. I just like the way this exudes queen energy. It's just the energy that I need. But yeah, guys, that is basically gonna be it for today. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about our tree. Only if you love it though, because I will be disregarding any comments that have hate about my tree because but yeah guys thanks so much for watching i will catch y'all tomorrow for the next day of listmas bye